All right, boy, this whole, like, uh, doing a screen capture of a PowerPoint presentation had a few more hiccups than I expected. Um, so I was reading an interesting article today as I'm trying to decide more on uh, how to break back into the constructed scene as I feel like it's definitely a huge missing piece of the channel. And uh, not wanting to get on the hamster wheel that is standard, I considered getting back into modern. And if you've been following me for any period of time, you'll know I've had a couple of modern decks. I've had Modern Burn, I've had Infect, and I've had Bogles. Um, and today I read an article um, about a turn two, a thousand dollar turn two modern deck. Now, for those of you that actually play modern, uh, at least that you play modern competitively, um, that's probably going to sound like a bargain. To most of us just getting into the format, it's pretty daunting. Um, but it's an investment and, uh, well, I mean, I guess you could almost call it budget at this point. But let's get in to the list. So we have a deck by Atsushi Ito. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And it's really hyper-focused on basically comboing off. We have four Devoted Druid, one Dust Watch Recruiter, four Street Wraith, four Vizier of Remedies, one Walking Ballista, one Wild Canter. Now spells, we've got Cantrips of Plenty, four Immune, Commune with Nature, sorry, one Conjurer's Bobble, three Manamorphose, four Mishra's Bobble, four Oath of Nisa, four Pact of Negation, four Summoner's Pact, four Traversa Ulvenwald, three Unbridled Growth. Now, the land base is absurdly aggressive at just 14 lands. You have four Hall of the Bandit Lord. Now, if you don't play EDH, you will probably have never heard of this card. Or maybe you have, but it was new to me. Then you have two Horizon Canopy, two Misty Rainforest, two Temple Garden, three Verdant Catacombs, and one Forest. Now, when I talked about it being budget, if you own these lands... Let's say you own the Horizon Canopy, the Misty Rainforest, Verdant Catacombs, Temple Gardens, because you've been playing Modern a long time. Um, you know, maybe this deck is five or six hundred dollars. Um, that's like basically the cost of a standard deck. Um, if you don't own the lands, it's you know it's still a lot of money to jump in. But any deck you play in Modern, you're going to have to commit to buying the land base. Uh, the sideboard in this deck are four Mirror and Crusaders, one Mystic Enforcer, four Path to Exile, four. Uh, Kassili Ambusher and two Reclamation Sages. Now, if you're not in the competitive modern scene, or um, maybe you haven't seen this deck or this archetype before, the way it works is um, pretty uh, simple. You create infinite mana using uh, Vizier of Remedies and Devoted Druid. So Devoted Druid is a two mana O2 that taps to add a forest to your mana pool. Then uh, add a minus one, minus one counter on it, untap Devoted Druid. Then Vizier of Remedies, a brand new Amonkhet card, says a two mana, two one. If one or more minus one, minus one counters will be put on a green creature you control, that many minus one, minus one counters, minus one, are put on it instead. Minus one, one, minus one, minus one, one, one. Zero, 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 one, one, zero, zero. Any whoozle. Basically what you see is you have Devoted Druid out, tap a create a green mana. The minus one, minus one trigger goes on the stack. Vizier cancels it out, and you can just keep tapping it over and 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 over again. And then you can do degenerate things with that mana. For example, casting a gigantic walking ballista and pumping it up to 20 and um, blowing it up and dealing all 20 damage to your opponent's face. Um, some other fun. So the two, the two, uh, a turn two kill potentially. You have turn one Hall of the Bandit Lord. Now, if this card isn't familiar to you, it's a legendary land from the Kamigawa block, obscure legendary land. If you don't play EDH, uh, it's still about a thirty dollar card. So a place out of these isn't going to be cheap. But it comes into play tapped. So. It also says, pay through, tap and pay through life. Add one colorless mana to your mana pool. If the mana was spent on a creature spell, that creature has haste. Okay, so turn one, haul the bandit lord, go. Turn two, hasted devoted druid. 
making two mana. Metamorphose into Vizier of Remedies, and Summoner's Pact for Duskwatch Recruiter. Dig, 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 get your get your kill spell, get your ballast to blow it up. And when you have multiple copies of all these cards, I mean you have four of Hall, you have four mana morphos, or three mana morphos in the deck, four of Vizier of Remedies, Summoner's Pact. I mean, you have access to get these cards. Um, at a decently high rate. Now, you may be saying to yourself, boy, this deck seems like a glass cannon, and it might be. Um, it seems like, boy, you know, any amount of disruption uh, would really derail this deck. But you're probably only going to face one removal spell uh, because you're going off in turn two, right? Uh, sideboard, however, you could have some pretty some silver bullet type cards you can put in the sideboard to deal with this deck. I, got, I don't think we know yet if uh, this is going to be what pushes Vizier over onto the ban list. Um, the deck is also absurdly consistent because of its many cantrips. Uh, zero mana cantrips effectively make a 60 card deck 52 cards, and a Horizon Canopy adds even more value as a cantrip and mana. So you have Mishra's Bobble, zero mana. Sacrifice Mishra's Bobble, look at the top card of your target, player's library, draw a card at the beginning of the next turn's upkeep. Um, Summoner's Pack, this lets you search your library for a green creature, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. So you can go get your Dustwatch Recruiter with this. And the Horizon Canopy, you can sack to draw a card. The question is, is it better than Counter's Company? which is kind of the reigning champ, at least in this archetype, which features one Anafenza, Kin Tree Spirit, four Birds of Paradise, four Devoted Druid, two Dustwatch Recruiter, four Eternal Witness, one Fiend Hunter, four Kitchen Finks, two Noble Hierarch, um, Visera Seer, Vizier of Remedies, and two Walking Ballista. So we can see we have many more creatures in the company deck because it only plays the two spells, the Court of Calling and the Collected Company. Whereas this new hyper focus deck plays four, eight, uh, well, geez, I mean, what do we got? 20 spells, more than 20 spells. Um, five, eight, and eight, 16, 20, 28, 31 spells. It's a lot of spells. And this other deck is pretty degenerate as well, generating infinite mana, using collect a company, flood the board do all sorts of stuff. If you look at the land base of Counter's Company, here we have Gavinry Township, plays a Godless Shrine, it also plays a Horizon Canopy, Overgrown Tomb, Temple Garden, Verdant Catacombs, Windswept Heath, and Forest Plains of Swamp to go fetch. The sideboard is loaded with removal, Erupt Decay, Anguish and Making, Eidolon of Rhetoric, Lynn Vallis, Keeper of Silence, Path to Exile, and so on. So what do you think of this new hyper-focus deck? Is it too risky? Um, I, I think probably the answer is, you know, we have to wait to see how some of the tournament results shake out. But it's going to be interesting to see if Vizier ends up getting any sort of ban. And, um, you know, cu out of curiosity, I'm wondering what you might think. Uh, what do you think uh, about the deck? Is it just too fragile? Do you think Vizier needs to get banned in Modern? Uh, I could see a case for that. Making infinite mana so quickly uh, seems like it leads to a lot of degenerate things. And, um, you know, that's concerning. A turn two win, a turn two kill in Modern is too fast. This isn't Legacy. Um, and, you know, all this information came from an article. That article I will link in the description below. Uh, but I do want to start trying to cover a little more constructed, um, you know, standard and modern probably to start because that's where my card knowledge uh, kind of sits right now. But uh, we'll go into some other formats because I want to flex up the channel with more interesting content. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to hearing your comments down below.